Chef Anch, and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, we're gonna be making one of my favorite weekday proteins, a golden barbecue chicken. Uh, with just some simple seasoning and some ingredients you already have lying around the house, we're gonna make a homemade barbecue sauce and make this chicken in the oven from start to finish. Uh, for barbecue chicken, I really like chicken leg quarters. So chicken leg quarters are a thigh with the uh, drumstick attached. You can make this recipe with just thighs, uh, just drumsticks, you can even do with a chicken breast, bone-in, skin on, but any bone-in, skin on, uh, chicken cut is gonna be really great for this recipe. So I've already preheated my oven to 375 degrees. It's on a convection setting. If you don't have a convection oven, just maybe a little higher, like 385, 390, uh, that will work for our initial setting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna season the chicken. We're gonna take our chicken and uh, we're gonna throw it inside of a bowl. So now we're gonna season our chicken with just a little olive oil. Uh, this is my base seasoning. So if you don't know what my base seasoning is, it's a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. I put this on a lot of stuff. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm also gonna put it inside the barbecue sauce. Uh, and if you don't know what the uh, exact ratios are, you can go check out uh, my episode five. So I'm gonna put a nice hefty liberal dose on there. And then I'm also gonna take some smoked paprika and uh, we're gonna throw that, add some color, and also add a nice smoky flavor. You can see that I'm not measuring, I'm just estimating. Uh, in the description, you'll see that I'll have some, some estimate uh, amounts. You figure it out, you figure out how much you wanna put in of what. Um, but now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna make sure that I'm nicely coating the chicken. I'm gonna rub the skin to make sure that the spices are evenly coated. And sometimes I like to even take the chicken and rub it together. That's gonna help coat all the chicken evenly. I'll also pick up any spices that are inside the bowl. But we're just trying to get a nice even coating on, on all the chicken and that's just best done by hand. Uh, you can use gloves or you can just wash your hands after you're done. I don't like using gloves because I think it's very wasteful, so I just wash my hands after I'm done. Try not to waste any spices. I clean that bowl with the pieces of chicken, pick up any, any loose spices that are in there and make sure you're getting both sides. So now for our baking sheet, uh, we're using a raised grate and I've lined my baking sheet with, uh, with aluminum foil. The raised grate's gonna allow the, the air to get underneath so the chicken's not sitting and cooking uh, directly on something, but the bottom's gonna be able to get uh, some good crispiness too. Uh, but we're gonna start this skin side up. So I'm gonna place the chicken uh, on my baking sheet. Make sure it's uh, all nice and even. We got two lefts and a right here. So that's pretty good. And I wanna make sure that I'm not crowding the chicken and there's space in between so that the air can blow around and the chicken uh, gets crispy on the outside and doesn't get soggy. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in my preheated oven for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna flip it I'm gonna cook it for another 20 minutes, then I'm gonna flick it back over and cook it for another 10. Uh, but let's get it in there so we can get moving on our barbecue sauce. So while our chicken's cooking in the oven, we're gonna make our barbecue sauce and we're gonna make it right on the stove. We just need a small little saucepan. Uh, I'm actually gonna keep the heat off for now while I add my ingredients, then I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit uh, just to warm it, okay? So we're gonna start off with a little ketchup. I'm gonna say that's about like two thirds of a cup. Now from here, we're gonna put a splash of apple cider vinegar. And here we're gonna put a couple heavy dashes of Worcester sauce. So we're all gonna, so we're gonna put a teaspoon of some spicy brown mustard. 
and a little Dijon mustard. And in my last video, I got crushed for not measuring everything out. I usually don't measure, so I wanna show people this is how I cook at home. So now we're gonna put a little honey. And now we're gonna add some spices. So for spices, we're gonna put some ancho chili powder. And again, I'm, I'm not measuring, just estimating. We're also, gonna, we're also gonna throw in that smoked paprika that we put on top of the chicken. We're gonna put that in the sauce as well. And then from here, we're gonna put a little base seasoning. That's got salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. So now I'm gonna turn the heat on, probably like medium low, because I just need to bring this up to temp and let this cook together. But I'm gonna use my spoon and just keep stirring. A little bit more of a golden color than the normal barbecue sauce. And then I don't have to get this to boiling, I just gotta get it to hot, and that's just gonna help pull all the flavors together. Because there's also a lot of sugar in here from the ketchup and from the honey, that this can easily burn on the bottom of the saucepan if I have the, the temperature too hot, or I cook it for too long. And you can see it has a already a nice consistency that's just a little bit thinner than ketchup and this is going to make sure that it goes it spreads nicely on the chicken give this a little taste Mm, that's wonderful. So now we don't need to do much more to this. Uh, it's already nice and warm. So we're just gonna wait until we cook our chicken. So our chicken's cooking for about 20 minutes. You can see that it's already taken on a nice golden color on the outside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip each piece. So now we're gonna cook for another 20 minutes with the skin side down. So now we just finished 20 minutes skin side down. So this is gonna go final flip. And we're gonna cook for another 10 or 15 minutes till we get a nice golden brown color on the top. And you can see because the skin was cooking uh, down, all the fat started dripping all over the chicken and that's gonna give us a nice golden brown color on this skin without having to add any more oil. So now that was in there for another 15 minutes. You can see that the skin is nicely golden brown on the outside. So I'm gonna take our barbecue sauce here and I'm gonna spoon it over the top of each piece. And now we're gonna use a, little, a brush to spread it around. We don't really have to use much more than that. Just enough to get a nice even coating. If you wanna put more sauce after, you can, but a spoonful on top of each one is plenty. And you can reserve the extra barbecue sauce and use it just like you would barbecue sauce. That looks perfect. Nice, evenly coated. So that's gonna go back in the oven just five more minutes, just so we can cook the sauce a little bit on top of the skin. So now our chicken is all done. I'm gonna put on just a little bit more sauce, just to finish up. And this is just gonna be a little less than I put on for that first coating. We'll take our brush. Brush it on really nicely. Make 
sure we're spreading it out evenly. So now we'll take this and we'll put this on a serving plate. Fantastic, nice and golden barbecue on the outside. Um, we're gonna let this cool down for a minute and then I'm gonna give it a taste. So if we cut into a drumstick right there, nice juicy chicken. Design the bite. You gotta get some chicken on there, a little skin. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave comments, and I'll see you on my next episode. Thanks.